Well, Bangkok's National Gymnasium will come alive now as Thailand's Samjit Yonggyo horse seeks Thailand's first ever world boxing gold. He's facing Jerome Toma of France for gold at 51 kilos, the flyweight class. And coach, could the old hometown axiom be at play here, which is to say, will the atmosphere in this building influence the judges? Could they give the benefit of the doubt to the home country fighter. Well, I mean, you'd be you'd be lying to say that it can't. I mean, it has to, especially when the crowd gets behind them with, with something like that. The punch doesn't even land. Now, mind you, the judges don't score, but they're human as well, and they're going to be they're going to be influenced somewhat. No doubt about that. Boy, there's a lot at stake for Yong Yohor here, and they're cheering every punch that he throws. Two million baht or fifty thousand dollars from Thai sports authorities and instant national hero status, as was the case for uh, Samla Kam Singh when he won Thailand's first Olympic gold in Atlanta in '96. And you know, since then the Thais have been, you know, they they've done well. Like even in Sydney, they've had some good fights, had some bad decisions, if you remember, you know, in in the fights over there. But they're slowly starting to come up, and they're a force to be reckoned with in amateur boxing. Yang Yohor is the 2002 Asian Games gold medalist. Traditionally, Asian Games champions do not clean up at the World Championships as the competition goes up several notches. I liked what Toma did right there. Yang Yohor was, ho was holding on to him and he just cracked him three, Toma just cracked him three, four, five shots in the back of the head, figuring the referee's not gonna break you, I'm just gonna keep hitting you. Oh, good right hand over the top from Toma. That doesn't come up for him. And those are the kind of things that are going to be the difference. You know, what points will they or will they not give to Toma? Young Yohor, very much the crowd favorite here for obvious reasons. But the legitimate favorite in this fight would have to be the French fighter, as uh, Toma is the reigning world champion, having won in Belfast two years ago. But now, in round number one, he's down by five. Make it six. Toma trying to take the crowd out of it by putting so much pressure on Young Yohor, but what he's doing is he's actually walking into the shots of Young Yohor. First two minutes of boxing comes to an end with Young Yohor up by six points. That round looks a lot closer than what the score indicated. It was, it was hard to see anything landing so super clean, but the crowd reacting every time Young Yohor throws a shot. There was a good left hook that landed. That found the mark. There, another angle, left hook. Toma has to be careful because this guy will throw punches. Young Yohor registered uh, two of the lower scores of the tournament. Uh, he scored 10 points to beat a Bulgarian in the preliminaries, and in the semis, he beat a German on a 12 to 5 count. Uh, I'm wondering if that suggests he wasn't eager to mix it up. Toma has to be careful on how much he wants to mix it up with Young Yohor. He's got to be careful. He can't show disdain for this guy and just walk forward and not... See, like, those shots are good, nice, and blocked. And the judges are not going to give Yang Yohor, regardless of what the crowd does, are not going to give him credit for that. That's what Tomas got to do. But if he comes straight forward and lets Yang Yohor tee off on him, he will get the points. Again, the punches are picked off. They get the point. They gave him a point there. Tomas starting to clown a little bit now. Yang Yohor had to mix it up, though, in the quarterfinals against the Cuban. And he got a narrow 23-22 decision. See, sneaky little shots from Yong Yohor that Toma can't seem to solve. The, 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 uh, this edge and speed is going to Yong Yohor here. He's able to execute that much quicker. Usually Toma has that advantage. But now Yong Yohor seems to be holding that decided advantage by throw, getting there just that half split second quicker. Now the scores are posted in the building at the end of each round, so Toma would have headed out for round number two, knowing he was down by six, and now he's down by ten, and he's got to be wondering what's going on. And they're not hard shots, they're just speed, quick shots getting right in on the inside. Toma already getting frustrated, he's having a hard time dealing with the speed, and he can't reach Yang Yohor. Now the difference being 11. Thailand has had success in this division. Weijan Ponlid won gold in it in Sydney. And uh, we point out, though, that Ponlid had his hands full with Canada's Andrew Cooner in his first bout there. He beat the Canadian 11-7. Cooner, of course, has since moved up one class to 54. 
This is Samjit Young Yuhor in the red against her own Tama of France for gold at 51. The Thai boxer with a commanding 12-point lead now. And he's not stealing this one, Scott. He's earning this one. Tama just not able to find the mark. And Young Yuhor is. He's waiting, and when he explodes, his reaction time is quick. It's fast, and he's finding the mark against Toma, and he's ahead leading. This is not a question. At first, you know, you wonder, well, could this be a hometown decision? It is no hometown decision here, folks. Ten-point lead for Yong Yohor at the end of two rounds. Yong Yohor getting to the mark and finding the speed is beating Toma. The straight right hand is finding the mark. He's fueled by the hometown crowd, but boy, he's not getting any free points. But what he's landing is landing good and solid form, and the judges are giving it to him. Toma just can't find this guy. Every time he throws, Young Yohor either hits him or gets away from the shot that Toma's throwing. I mentioned Samla Kemsing won. Uh, Thailand's first Olympic gold in Atlanta in 96. He actually received more than 500,000 American dollars from grateful countrymen in 